everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun Halloween treat for you today featuring the Bewitching Bundle from the 2022 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. Um, we're going to make a treat box and um, I'll tell you what's inside in just a second, but I want to also point out that the sentiment, there's no words in this stamp set, so I am using my Paper Pumpkin stamp set. This came in my Paper Pumpkin kit this month, so I'm using that one right there. Okay, so what's inside? One of my very favorite Halloween treats, the dipped pretzels. Now, I get these at Sam's every year, um, but I have also seen them at um, Target. And I'm going to try to find them on Amazon and link them for you. But I know you can get them at Target or you can even make them yourself. They're just pretzel rods um, dipped in colored um, melting chocolate. This one looks like a witch finger. So it's my favorite. And I thought it was a perfect match for our parakeet party cardstock. All right, let's make our box first. I'm gonna bring over my Simply Scored and you're gonna need a piece of parakeet party that is four and a half by 10. And we're gonna score it at one, two, three, and four, and then turn it and score it at one and nine. Now, before we do anything else to it, we're gonna stamp the little stars on it in Parakeet Party. So I'll just go down, kind of turning my stamp as I go. We wanna just have some more interest on our box. This is kind of like um, creating your own pattern paper. See how I'm also turning my paper. You can turn your stamp, you can turn the paper, whatever you wanna do. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take my bone folder and burnish all of these lines. The bone folder helps you get them nice and crisp like that. All right, with your scissors, over here on the skinny edge, see how you have this half inch edge? We're gonna cut off those rectangles down there at the end and then cut this at an angle. So you want that tab to be at an angle. Okay. Now we're gonna cut all of these lines, stopping at that score line. All right, now I'm gonna take my tear and tape, run it down that long skinny tab like that. Let's take off that backing. And now we're gonna close up one end. Um, this, where the seam is, where those two pieces met, that's gonna be my back side for sure. Um, so I'm gonna start by folding in the sides then folding in the back, then folding in the front tab. That way we have a nice um, rounded, all the sides will be nice and rounded. All right, so just peel off that paper off of your tear and tape. You gotta make sure it's nice and stuck, otherwise you're gonna pull the tape back up too. There we go. And then just fold that over. All right, so now I'm gonna put my witch's finger in. Again, the sides, the back, and then the front. Now I am gonna tie a ribbon around that so that the recipient doesn't have to tear their box open. I'm not gonna adhere that. But I'm gonna take my ribbon kind of see where I need it to be. And I am gonna put a little bit of tape on the bottom to keep it in place. Okay, and now wrap your ribbon up to the top. And finish with a bow. Like that, okay. 
okay? And then you want to trim off these little ends like that. All right, so there's your box. Now let's make our tag. The first thing we're going to do is stamp our hat. All right, I'm going to stamp it in memento down in the bottom corner of my cards, my basic white cardstock, so that it'll be, when I put my punch there, it'll be easy to punch out. All right, I'm gonna take Light Orchid Oasis, and I'm gonna color the whole thing. I'm gonna use the bullet tip end. Um, I just feel like I have so much better control over my marker, especially in small areas when I use this end. Okay, now I'm gonna do the bottom. I'm gonna leave that band white. We're gonna cover that up in a minute. So no need to color it. All right, so now I'm gonna take my dark Orchid Oasis. And I'm gonna add a dark line kind of over here on the left side of my hat along that hat band. And then a little bit up here towards the front of the brim. That's gonna give us some shadowing. All right, then I'm gonna take my light and just kind of start to blend that color out. All right, last, I'm gonna take my color lifter and just remove a little bit of the color here on this side to make it a little bit lighter. All right, perfect. Now, I couldn't leave well enough alone, so I had to bring in some Wink of Stella and make our hat nice and glittery. All right. Perfect. So now I'm going to take my punch and we're going to line that up and punch it out. All right, for the hat band, I'm going to use a piece of Parakeet Party glimmer paper. I'm just going to punch out a little band there. I'm also going to take a piece of pumpkin pie and punch out a star. There we go. And now we'll use our liquid glue to put these on. There we go. And let's see, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to pick that guy up and set him right there. Okay, there. Now, we've got our hat. The last thing we need to do is to make our little tag. I have already cut out a basic black scallop circle, a basic black stitch circle, and a silver foil stitch circle. Um, some of the silver foil, there's three different shades of silver foil in the package, and one of them's purplish, and I thought it would be perfect for this um, project. Now, I'm gonna cut some holes into this black circle. Um, this is the second largest circle, by the way, not the largest. All right, I'm gonna use our Spots and Dots die, one of my favorite dies in the whole catalog. We're gonna run that through, and let's see if it'll come off. There we go. A little Swiss cheese circle, if you will. And I'm gonna use some Tombow, just a couple of dots. We don't wanna add, we don't, we wanna, you don't wanna add too much so that it squishes out when you lay it down, okay? So use little dots. All right, lay that down right there. Isn't that neat looking? Okay, let's put it all together. We need our dimensionals right here, and we're gonna add these together like this, and then we'll add our hat 
kind of over here on the left side. I've got a, a stitched banner cut with a stylus shape dies um, from Basic White. I'm going to stamp my sentiment and pumpkin pie on the right side. And we'll put that right there. I may need to cut some of that off. Let's see. Yep, I'm going to cut just a little bit of that and slide that in right there. There we go. All right, bring your box back. And now two more dimensionals. And you've got a really fun treat box. Enjoy the spooky treat. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions, please let me know. Click the link here on YouTube, hop back to my blog. I've got two other bewitching projects for you. All right, everybody, happy Halloween. Thanks. Bye-bye.